And then let your shoulders fall. Oh, lovely. That was awesome. And I can scoop you back and lift you up. Oh, glorious. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We have Jesse Hilgenberg coming in. She's an awesome lady. She's uh, super big and super famous in the fitness community. I've been seeing her for a couple years or so. She has little flares here and there with her training. And then she just likes coming in for some performance care, which to me is just getting optimal motion in all the joints of the spine and the extremities to just help her do her best with her day-to-day -day life and to feel good with her kids. Let's go see how she's doing. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. You too. So how you been? Um, I've been okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm carrying quite a bit of stress in my body. Okay. So um, I'm hoping this kind of works some of that out a little bit. My neck. You're holding that. a lot up here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, especially I feel like, like you're holding a lot in the upper neck here? Mm -hmm. Okay. It just feels really tight. Has it been bothering you in your day-to-day uh, uh, -day stuff? Mm-hmm kids and work and mm -hmm. in the gym mm -hmm. and well, not so much in the gym maybe I just don't notice it as much but I definitely notice it when I'm at home or just sitting at my desk or laying in bed all right so Jesse is world famous <laughs> maybe world famous <laughs> you got like a million people following you on Facebook yeah something like that and um, you're known for competing professionally for quite a while in yes. bodybuilding. Yes. And then after that, you transitioned into online coaching and then that just kind of took off, right? Yeah. And that's what I, you've been doing ever um, since. I turned uh, IFBB Figure Pro in 2012, so that was quite a long time ago. And then um, started a family and wanted to transition it more into a business. So I started my business, Jesse's Girls, and just coach women all over the world. And you're still doing you still have like the, the gas pedal down on all that? Or are you kind of cruising right now? Or? Um, it feels more like a cruise. Okay. Yeah, I've built, I've spent a decade building it. And so it feels pretty good to cruise right now and just let it all flow and do fitness challenges and sell eBooks and yeah. take care of myself for once. Good for you. Spent a lot of years not doing that. What a... Uh, what do you want 2024 to look like for you? Um, I want it to look really peaceful. So Perfect. the opposite of the gas pedal. <laughs> I've been like I love that. grinding for so long and I just want to feel calm and peaceful and let the universe do its job. What steps are you taking for that um, so far? Saying no a lot. I say no a lot now as a recovering people pleaser, that's really hard for me to do. Mm. So um, really, I feel like the more I say no, um, I don't even have to say yes. The no's leave all of the space open so that the good things come. I just want everything to feel different instead of hustling. And I did all that hustle like while my babies were young and I just want to enjoy them and work on myself again. I barely had a consistent workout routine for the last five or six years. So it feels good to be back into the gym. Good for you. It's different now in my 40s than it was in my late 20s and my 30s. So I need to come in here more, <laughs> for sure. How is that work. different for people that might watch this and see, you know see your physique and be like, how, um, how, would, my, how would your training differ from 20s the 30s to now you're in your early 40s well I feel like in my 20s and 30s it almost felt like I was invincible I never had any injuries I put on muscle easily stayed lean easily everything just worked and then I hit my 40s and I can still train hard I still love it but it's almost like things don't work as well as they used to I have to focus so much more on my eating and prioritizing protein and weight training, like barely any cardio and really replacing a lot of um, like the high intensity exercising with 
stuff like this, body work, massages and coming to see you just so that I can really take care of my body in between sessions because I don't recover as quickly anymore. Yeah. Um, it's still good, but just not like it used to be, you know? But I would say that doing this type of work is definitely more performance based and just taking care of my body so that I can keep lifting and exercising and feeling good. It's not worth it anymore for me to feel crappy. You know, my kids are six and nine and I want to be able to run and jump and... I don't know, you're a badass mom. <laughs> throw them up in the pool and, you know, I want to be able to do all that stuff for a really long time. Bring your head back into me. Okay. We've done some seated neck adjustments before. Mm -hmm. You okay with the seated ones? Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay, since we're here. Mm -hmm. It's a little stuck right there. And then just come back with me. Good. Pretty easy. Yeah. Felt great. And then, oh, you just got a haircut. You got to keep it fresh. <laughs> I did. <laughs> And then come back over a little further. Okay. We're going to go a little lower. Okay. That one freaking you out? Nope. Okay. I trust you. Good. That one was great. Dang. Got it right down there? Yeah. Yeah. We got the upper cervical and then mm. the CT junction. And then... Uh, go chin all the way down okay. for me. So as far down as you can go. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying not to Are you disappointed? That it? <laughs> that's it. That's really all I can do. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a little stuck there too. Yeah, my neck is definitely stiff. Drop that ear into my hand. Okay. Yep. Okay. You're right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take a breath in, and then let your shoulders fall. Oh, lovely. That was awesome. Jeez. Don't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go chin down okay. for me. And then back up. Chin down. Yeah, it's not moving too well right there. Uh, raise your arms up to the side for me. Okay if I put my hands on you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then go hands on top of mine. Okay. Elbows in. Big breath. Hand out. And I'm going to scoop you back and lift you up. Oh, glorious. That was amazing. Oh, I feel like my soul just left my body or came back, or came back into it or something. It left and then came oh, back. Oh, that was good. Oh, man. That one was due, huh? That was good. Thank you. Yeah, Dang. You're welcome. Oh, my shoulders. Thank you for relaxing enough to yeah. let that happen. Yeah. Uh, let's check out the low back. Okay. Do you want a pillow? Um, That'd be easier. No, it'll be okay. I'll just like go like this. Okay I'm gonna grab this. You tell me if this is better or not. The boppy? Is that what this called? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's definitely better. But doesn't it doesn't look that good in your video. Is it stupid? I don't really care. As long as you're comfy. Yeah. I haven't seen one for six years. I'm so sad. Oh, your babies <laughs> are grown. They are. You having much compression down here in the low back when, um, when you're in here training? I mean, I don't really know if it's compression, but it feels tight. Like I have to take a good solid like five to seven minutes before I train on okay. a leg day to make sure it's really loose or not as tight. I don't know if it ever gets like, really loose. Like low, low or this yeah, whole piece? No, low, yeah. low, like right here. Okay. If I push you straight down. Does it hurt? All good? Yeah, it feels good. And there. That's fine. Okay. How about there? Fine. Okay. All good? Mm-hmm. Okay. How's that? Good. All good. All good? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. What are you checking for when you do that? I'm just checking for um, sensitive, sensi sensitive. <laughs> 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 um, I'm checking for you being sensitive to extension. So okay. when I push you into the, into that range. Yeah. Any sensitivity there? No. no. And then here, I'm just checking for rotation. It feels a little stiff to me, but you're not getting pain. No. Usually if something's stiff in the spine, it doesn't necessarily cause pain. Okay. I just realized that I brought 
purple shorts like the same color <laughs> to work out in today. We can go live together afterward. I know. Matchy. <laughs> Maybe we should switch though. You can wear the shorts and <laughs> you wear the I'll wear those pants. Oh, nice. How would I look in those pants? Well, probably good. <laughs> <laughs> feels so good. Good. Tell me if it's too much, okay? Okay, it won't be. All right. You like a lot of pressure? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's about half. Do you want more? That's half? Good yeah. lord. No, I'm good. good. I like your half. You like my half? Okay. Uh. You gotta remember who I work on in here. True. Not as tense on this side. Mm -mm. Which is actually kind of surprising because usually this is my tight side. So, what's the story with this? Mm, it's like. I have like two <laughs> sessions left of getting it removed. It's a butterfly? Mm hmm. Okay. My tramp stamp from when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> so you just waited like 27 years to yeah. take care of it? Yeah. All right. I've always hated it. I used my <laughs> friend's 18 year old ID when I was in high school and went and got it. And it's low like it is because I had to hide it from my parents. <laughs> <laughs> So finally, um, I don't know, maybe like five years ago, I started doing all the laser removal for it. And then... Man, it's taking this long? Well, I didn't go very consistently. And then um, the place I went to that I had the package for was in Phoenix, and then I moved away. Oh, okay. And I haven't done it Got since it. then. But there's like, there's probably like two sessions left, and then it would be totally gone, or at least gone enough where you wouldn't even notice it the way you just did. Got it. Thought about your end range there? Mm, there. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the tattoo story. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> I forget it's there. <laughs> I'm just going to give you one pull on uh, this left leg. Okay. And try and open up your back a little bit. You might feel this a little bit in the ankle too. Okay. Is that okay on your low back there? Mm -hmm. okay. Feels good. Feels good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just hold for a second. Good. Mm. Any problems with that? No problem. Okay. Breath in for me. In and out. Okay. Is that okay on your ribs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oof. That was big. That was big. That was really big. Felt awesome. I mean, you got a good amount of muscle, so it takes a bit, a bit of force to get to the joint. Yeah, you know? Okay. Yeah. Breath in again, and out. I'm gonna bring this knee up just a little. Mm. That's side joint too. Okay. Hip joint. Feels great. Okay. That's a good one. That's a cracked ankle. Ankle? Yeah. yeah. Kind of rock you down. Arms okay? Yeah, no, they are. Oh, good job. Got it? Yeah, hold it. Okay, reach out the top again. There you go. Ooh, there we go. That was good. <laughs> It started before you did. Funny. Yay, thank you. Do you want to do the strap? Yeah. Slide back just a tad. Good? Yep. See if we can just get all that tension out of there. Let everything go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> It felt so good. I felt it all the way down my back. It was amazing. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I feel like a new woman. 
Yeah? Yeah. Less tension in there? Yeah, so much less. I've been having trouble with it feeling even or stuck for a, for a few months, and I feel super loose and just relaxed now. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming in. Sure. Thanks for having me.